The conversation, of course, is all about President Biden's classified documents, the third, uh, I'll say, tranche that has been found. And we're continuing that conversation with distinguished professor at Turo University, Thane Rosenbaum. Thane, great to have you with us. Um, what strikes you the most of this ongoing uh, document revelation? Katrina, it's that the Democrats, the Justice Department, congressional Democratic leaders boxed themselves in. They said that the retention of the documents, the possession of the documents, the removal of the documents, the mishandling of the documents were all crimes, right? And I was on your show many times saying, no one's talking about the Presidential Records Act. Instead, they're talking about the Espionage Act. And I said, well, the Presidential Records Act contemplates that the president has a possessory interest in documents created during his presidency. You don't put a president, former president in jail because he took documents created during his presidency home, even if he was stonewalling the return. This is not the same thing as violating the Espionage Act, which applies to state secrets sold to foreign governments. So they box themselves in where they said, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to sell the documents. All he has to do is remove them, retain them, and mishandle them. Yeah. Guess what? That's exactly what Joe Biden did. And, and one more thing. Yeah, Joe Biden was vice president. He was not president. It is not called the Vice Presidential Records Act. It's called the Presidential Records Act, which means whatever cover Donald Trump had to take documents home, that did not apply to the vice president. It only applies to president. And related to the Espionage Act, one of the things I noticed, because I was reading it some time ago, is that it doesn't even refer to something being top secret, uh, although it may have been updated. I'm not sure about that. But it existed as a, an act, as a law, before that, pro that classification system was applied or implemented. So it doesn't even have to be top secret or labeled top secret to be exposed to this act. Well, Bob, I would say that when it was applied to Edward Snowden or Julian Assange or Chelsea Manning, not all those documents were even classified. Right. They were just documents they shouldn't have in their possession. That's the part that was so twisted here, that the concept of the Espionage Act is to prosecute people who have no business ever touching documents. They're, they're, this is not their business. They should never be touching documents, and they, we should never be walking around possibly handing it to foreign enemies. It was never written with the idea that a president couldn't take documents home. In fact, the Presidential Records Act was enacted precisely to create a process where the president and his team would negotiate with the National Archives to determine what he or she could keep and what he had to return. Trump always said, I was still negotiating with them, and then they braided my house. And so there is an argument to be said the Presidential Record Act was never criminal in nature, and instead they skipped over that and they kept using the words Espionage Act, and they didn't care about whether Donald Trump sold anything. They simply said the fact that he had it in his house is enough. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, okay, so now you have it in a garage. How is that any different? Right. And it was taken by a vice president, not the president. The vice president absolutely had no authority to take it home. Yeah, so and what we're showing was it doing in his garage, what was it doing in his home? He never had a, a legal cover like the Presidential Records Act because it doesn't apply to vice presidents. And assuming it was true that uh, these documents that we're referring to in the second tranche, if uh -huh. you will, were in the, can we bring up that picture again? Uh, we're just showing that when you make an argument it's a locked garage, it becomes kind of silly because right. the purpose of a garage is to let people in cars in and out. And right behind it, there's a bunch of stuff there. We don't know that there are any documents. Right. This is documents. from a 1990 campaign, or an older campaign ad from Joe Biden. So right. that we're, we're pulling that image. But, but certainly security is not the first it, thing that it, comes precisely. to mind. So Thane Rosenbaum, thank you so much, Thane. Good to see you. Thank you.